Welcome to Nerdy a Manager for WBD, demo of the day. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the algorithm used by Nerdy a Manager for WBD to name the session host VMs when they are first created and also when they are scaled in and removed and then scaled out and created anew. So in the Nerdy Manager for WVD, when you add a dynamic host pool as an example, you will specify a name prefix that is going to be used for any newly created session host VMs and obviously the Active Directory computer objects corresponding to those VMs. If you, um, if you specify the setting, the system will automatically append a four digit or four character alphanumeric value that's going to make the name of this VM unique. Uh, but it is important to keep in mind that this name, although it appears to be random, it is actually persistent. So once Nerdio Manager creates this VM and assigns it a name, even if this VM is scaled in and removed later on as part of the auto scale process, when it gets recreated, it will keep the exact same name as it had when it was removed during the previous period, whether it was yesterday or last week or whenever that scale in process happened. This is really important because it allows you to keep any white lists uh, for various applications that rely on computer name and object names. It allows you to keep existing Active Directory computer objects uh, and their location inside of the Active Directory OU structure. So there's really lots of benefits in being able to retain and keep persistent the name of the VMs. Now, this behavior is configurable. If you go to manage auto scale on any of the host pools, you will notice a checkbox in the template configuration uh, settings um, section where by default it's going to be checked, which means that it's going to, by default, reuse host names as they are deleted as part of scale in and recreated as part of scale out. If you wanted the system to not reuse names and always generate a brand new pseudo random four character alphanumeric extension to that VM, you would simply uncheck this box and click save. Couple of things to point out. If you manually delete a VM from within a host pool, for instance, if you open up manage hosts on the host pool, you go to delete, type in confirm and click OK, this would orderly remove this VM from WVD, it would remove it from Active Directory, it would delete the VM from Azure, and it will free up that name in the database so that the next time a VM is created, that name will no longer be used again. So to free up a particular VM's name, you can manually delete it from, from within the host pool. The one other thing to keep in mind is when going through the re-image operation. So if you wanted to update all the session host VMs inside of a host pool in bulk and you selected resize re-image and you selected another image from the dropdown here and went through this process, in this case, the system will always reuse existing computer names. Not only will it reuse existing VM names, but it will also reuse the existing network cards, which means the IP address, the DNS record, the computer object in AD, and everything associated with the VMs that are being re-imaged is going to be kept the same, with the exception of the operating system, system disk, which is obviously going to be replaced from the latest version of the image that's selected. So those are the various algorithms used to maintain names of VMs. Again, to summarize, the system will always opt to reuse the name unless you either manually delete a specific VM or if you uncheck the box to reuse the name on the Manage Autoscale Configuration screen. See you next time.